Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Monday, March 5th, the Monday of the third week of Lent. Today's readings are from the second book of Kings, chapter 5, and from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4. Today's reflection is from an archive of the Living Bread Radio Library. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman, the army commander of the king of Aram, was highly esteemed and respected by his master, for through him the Lord had brought victory to Aram. But valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Armenians had captured in a raid on the land of Israel a little girl, who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet in Samaria, she said to her mistress, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram. I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman set out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, Ten festal garments. To the king of Israel he brought the letter, which read, With this letter I am sending my servant Naaman to you, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, Am I a god with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note. You can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king, Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find out that there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will heal, and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought that he would surely come and stand there to invoke the Lord his God, and would move his hand over the spot, and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the rivers of Damascus, the Albana, and the Farfar better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleansed? With this he turned about in anger and left. But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you have done it? All the more now, since he said to you, wash and be clean, should you do it as he said? So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. The Word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath, in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha, the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman, the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through their midst and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the Bread of Life, a reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Joe Mamich, pastor of St. Joseph Parish in Strongsville, Ohio. Expectations play an extremely large role in how we as humans view and process things. It seems to me that we always expect that certain people always do certain things. Likewise, we expect that we'll always experience things in the same way. However, when something happens that seems out of character, we might become shocked or maybe at times even upset. So it was with the people in the synagogue today. I don't think they were expecting to see or to hear what Jesus said and what Jesus did. However, because their expectations were shattered, they missed an opportunity to encounter the Messiah, Jesus, who was in their midst. Although I'd be willing to bet that each and every one of us listening has been through Lent before, none of us has journeyed through this Lent. So whether this is our first Lent or our 80th, this Lent really is a time of grace. Using today's Gospel, and it's talk about prophets. Let's pause for a moment and think about who has become a prophet for us this Lent. Did we expect that they would become that for us? It's clear that people and places, even things that we experience, can have an effect on our Lenten journey if we allow them to do so. But in order for them to be allowed to do so, we might have to let our expectations go. As we go through today, Let's think about who our prophets are and how they have helped us this Lent, even if we didn't expect it. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, 
who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts. Yeah.